OK, welcome back everybody. It is uh, 616 now on this Monday evening, the last day of January, uh, which means that uh, it is only 28 days until the start of meteorological spring. That is something to hang our hat on uh, March 1st. Not that far away, but uh, in the interim, we do have some winter weather to deal with winter storm watches and winter storm warnings within the viewing area. However, not including the city of Grand Rapids here in Kent County. You'll see what I mean momentarily. We've had uh, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies recently. Temperatures have peaked out in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees today. We did max out officially at 3-0. That would be 30 degrees. That was our peak number in Grand Rapids. Southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Dew points running in the upper teens, so it is on the dry side and uh, with just some high level clouds drifting on by and uh, a lot of clear conditions, we will drop back into the lower 20s here before leveling off late evening and starting to rise in the overnight and through the day on Tuesday. There is some shot to get to 40 degrees tomorrow afternoon, but that will be out ahead of a weather system that is to bring in some snow and it will be just some snow, I think, in Grand Rapids on Wednesday, but a lot more towards Kalamazoo, Battle Creek and southward to the Indiana line. More on that coming up. Temperatures running in the mid to upper 20s. Currently, we don't have anything substantial going on with the winds just out of the southeast at five to eight or nine miles per hour and feels like temperatures in the upper teens to around 20 degrees. Now the weather headlines. Let's start breaking it down. Everybody afternoon light rain develops on Tuesday. Yeah, we're talking about snow, but uh, there's actually going to be a spell of light rain that comes in. That will be the first moisture with this system. It transitions to snow mid to late evening into the overnight. And again, the focus is always going to be around, but mainly south of I-96 with this system. The heaviest snow swath is going to be more along I-94 into the Indiana line with these amounts that you may have been hearing about around town of, uh, you know, double digit inches. That is a chance to occur, has a chance to occur, I think particularly for those counties near Indiana from Wednesday and into early Thursday. Right now, it's just a veil of high clouds trying to drift in from the west. So mostly clear at the moment, but trending back partly cloudy as some of these high and mid-level clouds gather force and come in well out in advance. Advance. You know, some of the energy with the system to produce these uh, winter storm watches and warnings is still off the coast of California. So there are still some chances here, or there's still a chance to get uh, oscillations in these models with where the snow is going to lay out eventually. But uh, here from the National Weather Service, winter storm watches for Allegan, Barry, and Eaton County. Southward from there, including I-94 into the Indian Line, winter storm warnings that go into effect early on Wednesday morning at about 1, 2 a.m., depending upon which uh, watch or warning you are dealing with here. The warnings 2 a.m. They go into effect actually the watch as well. Early morning Wednesday stretching out into Thursday as well. Uh, you know, I'm still monitoring these models. I'll have a more honed in opinion on this later tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock, but I certainly think around Grand Rapids, we're probably going to be only dealing with a couple two, three inches, something like that. There's still a chance it could be less than that, less than that, still a chance it could be a little bit more, but the heavier banding of blue and purple colors, I think sets up down to the south and kind of on this angle into southeast Michigan, including the Detroit metro area where, you know, like an 8 to 12 inch type of a snow can come down. This off the graph model throwing down a couple inches or so in GR. You come just southward and the amounts do pick up pretty dramatically. Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Uh, that may be a little bit on the high side as well, but I would think a solid five to eight inches or so for you folks as we go through the day on Wednesday into early Thursday morning. Taking a look at this future track model, we got some of those aforementioned high and mid level clouds drifting in from now into the overnight. That will stabilize our temperatures uh, in the low 20s, begin to rise overnight on this trajectory for about 38, 39, maybe 40 degrees by day's end tomorrow. And little nose of a drizzle and light rain pockets developing near midday shortly thereafter. So there will be some light rain around. It's be damp as you drive home from work on Tuesday through the mid to especially late evening. Some snow mixes in, changes over to snow. But again, look at this focus down to the south of I-96. So when we wake up on Wednesday morning, uh, is there going to be any snow on the ground in Grand Rapids? Probably not a whole lot, but through the late morning and afternoon, we'll pick up that maybe two, three inches in GR. We'll see about that greater amount, substantially more I-94. And again, to the Indiana line, that will scoot over towards the Detroit area where they're expecting double digit inch amount. So I don't think we're getting that in Grand Rapids. That's some good news locally. It is going to be cold right on through. We've got teens for highs Thursday and Friday. No big systems thereafter, though. Uh, it's going to be cold, guys, right on through the weekend. Yeah, cold here in Michigan, but you know where it's not cold, Janice? <laughs> Los Angeles. Where? The Sunny site. California? Yes, yeah. exactly. Where Super Bowl <laughs> 56 is going to be held between the Bay.